So which gun is it? And you know what I'm talking about. The gun you don't just tolerate shooting, but you love to shoot. The one that when you pick it up, it's like picking up where you left off with an old friend. For me, that gun is Sig Emperor Scorpion, chambered in 45 ACP. Now, I never owned a 1911 till the Emperor's new but nostalgic look caught my eye. I love the G10 grips, the external extractor, the burnt bronze and black controls, and I could just see a Surefire X300U hanging off the bottom even with that 5 inch barrel. And so, one day, I put down the money to invest in what would become, hands down, the most expensive gun I'd ever bought. But, as I sit here today, one year later, I can confidently claim it was worth every single penny. Here's why. Out of the box, the slide, the machining, everything about it is smooth and slick. It's first range out and was sabbatical 17, so check out that video later. And I was nervous because I'd seen scary articles saying the slide was too tight, gun locked up, sent back to SIG. But I chugged through 500 rounds over three days, no cleaning, without a hiccup. I'd say the gun is tight, but it's not too tight. Just a little bit of wiggle to keep it working. The heavy frame is a blast. If you've grown up shooting polyguns, the full metal frame of the 1911 is just super easy to shoot and the single stage trigger really is that good, making me a better shooter than I am, hitting gongs like nobody's business. The grip. I love the grip. It's intense. The front checkering is the real deal. The panels are grippy and the G10 backstrap works for me. And the slide cuts are good. They do what they need to do, unlike my XDs that do nothing. This past year was a year first, my first 1911 and my first time shooting competitively with the Emperor Scorpion in the USPSA single stack division where I put another 2k through it before the season ended. Great experience on both fronts, I just needed to make sure to ride that thumb safety down when it was go time and flick it back up after making ready. The gun's really just good to go out of the box. I've heard guys say it's the closest thing to custom you can get without it being custom and they're probably right. I've not added or needed to add a single theme to it since I bought it, except maybe picking up some Wilson Combat mags, but the stock mags have worked for me also. Which brings me to the only thing I don't like. The finish is a little hard to keep looking nice and clean. I still see residue and fingerprint smudges on it after cleaning, but whatever, this isn't a safe queen. And guys, that's really about it. So there it is. If you're looking to get into the 1911 market for the first time or add another to your collection, Pick this one up because you won't be able to put it down.